Three. Uh, blah, 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 blah. boom. Last where we left off. We are now sunny. And we're stuck here. Another one? Oh. Room. Let's get into it. A pinwheel blows freely into the wind. You shouldn't walk in the streets, Sonny. That's dangerous. Okay, so we met up with Kel, who's actually a criminal. Wait, hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been over my place, but now might not be a good time. <laughs> she has a dog. So... Empty warehouse filled with... Whose house is this? There's no response. Black trash can is for trash, a blue trash can is for recyclables, and a green trash can is for nature stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Uh, what is this? A statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it's judging you. Yikes. Are they different? No, they're all the same. Knock, knock. Alright. I want to talk about uh, your religion anyway. I don't think I should cross the street. I don't know why. No, I might have to. There's a stop sign. Far away park. The future belongs to our dreamers. Cool. Hey, sir. I'm on my way to church, but it's a ritual of mine to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I had a horrible stage fright ever since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seems to calm my nerves. Cool to know. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, these guys are in the real world too. No, they're not. They're all illusions. a tetherball. What are you doing, sir? <sighs> oh, hey. What's up? Huh? What are you doing, Kel? You from around this part of town? Oh, whoa. I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Sonny, this is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you played basketball, too. <sighs> I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball team this year, right, Cal? Maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like some fun. Maybe another time. My childhood friend Sonny here is leaving town in the next few days, so we're hanging out all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can set something up next week. Same time, same place? Yep, sounds good. See you then. This sentence man is indescribable. What you making that face for, bub? Is there something on my face? I, well, you can chill out. We are the recyclist, collect, collect to this follower of the holy bin. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. 
Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Cool. And you say the same thing. Alright, alright. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people have been watching out here. But people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes is a little relax and stop to some other rules is I feel like I'm right, that's so wrong. In order to digi 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 diligently sketching away. Whoa, that's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Ah, oh, hi there. Thank you. I'm, j I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing? But it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Don't you think so too, Sonny? I mean, I ain't seen it for sure. See? Even Sonny agrees with me. Heck, I'd buy it from you right now. Hey, Sonny, can you lend me 20 bucks? I don't know what makes him think I have money. <laughs> Thanks, that's so nice of you, but it's not for sale. It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Aw, oh, darn. That's too bad. That would look great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name is Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Sonny. Hi, Kel and Sonny. It's nice to meet the both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. <sighs> what, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way. I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawings is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sonny believe in you. <sighs> yeah. You're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Dead of all, it smells like rusty. What's going on with you? Hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching here. Watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a bit of trash around this town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, youngins. Let's help the world one step at a time. Alright. <laughs> Drink apple juice! Have you ever heard of this phrase? An apple awake, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? The same concept, same, same, same concept applies to apple juice. Apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds. It may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. Sure, I'll shave again. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Uh, oh, wait a minute. So, I don't know if this is important. I don't remember any more garbage. Besides that. Oh, ho, ho, hello. <laughs> uh, today's such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have money, but at least the sunlight is free. You are absolutely right, sir. Um, there was one more, right? Yeah. And that should be it. There should not be any more. Wait a minute. Wasn't that... Hmm. Hello, youngins. I see you have some trash. Thanks. I'll be sure to dispose of it. Oh, nice. So she gave me $4. When I was younger, 
My family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. Interesting. Is that a quarter? I just made a wish that I just made a wish that I would meet my true love one day. Sure. Coin fell straight to the bottom. Oh shit. Space captain. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you've been here, but it hasn't really changed at all. It's all the old same, same old stuff. Captain Space Boys, Sweetheart Movies, and a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for a Hero. He's in, he's in college right now, and he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine. No, that's a horrible idea. You should help me pick out a gift, honey. Let's look around and see what there is. Sprout Mole Eater Revenge and the Mole's 3? That's too violent. Looks so realistic. I've been fighting that monster when you get tough now. novel just got a comic adaptation, but the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. I don't want to play this game. Playing cards just got out of this game. 
has to be one of the CDs on right? Everything here? What is there more to interact with? This, yes, this is perfect. This is Papa Chips, Chips, Chip off the old block cookbook. Wow, that's a mouthful. If you ever had a copy of this when we were a little kid, but our dog Hector destroyed it. He's going to be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? Twenty dollars. This is extortion. Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you swap me something? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. Do I have that much money? Hey, shopkeeper, you'd like to buy this cup up, please. Kel, how you been, buddy? It's been a while since you come around, is it? Uh, it's Papa, and I'm not gonna say that. I see you have good taste. My yeah, brother, yeah, brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies are my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chips work. I mean, something like that, please. Thank you, kind serious. Please enjoy. You got here, it's good tonight. So, I guess we did have enough money. I feel like I need to be saving more money. Four stars. Uh, hold on. Why? And I'm back with food.
Sorry about that, technical difficulties, but we're back. Oh, how about the fairway park? Yeah, the park. We passed it on the way here and it sounds fun, doesn't it? I don't want to keep looking around, but... Yo, I'm Michael, a soon to be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at the Town Plaza for years. Now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. Chubbier and tubbier, but I can't help myself. We get so close to food like this. Uh, mm, pizza. Hello, hello, my name is Gino. I know what you're thinking, and I don't want to stay. They give me a free pizza for my birthday every year, so it's pretty cool. I'm Rai. I take pride in uh, I take pride in being a music musical connoisseur of sorts. Play a CD on the jukebox over there. I bet I can tell you what artist. Just want to progress, but although, based on my understanding, who are these kids? Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh oh, there's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait. Is that? It's Basil. Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Oh, it's just Cal. Ugh. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Psst. Why aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? The fuck is this posse? Cow just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Cal, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here. Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. 
How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. <laughs> Whatever. Aubrey, please. Listen to me. Yo. Hey, stop that. Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Ugh, Sonny. Come on, we gotta do something. <laughs> Are you guys really paying a kick in a fight? Sure. Why not? The two of you against me? How's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on the both of them. Are you okay? You, you're hurt. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Uh, I'll get you back for this. Oh, what the fuck, Sonny? What the fuck? You whipped out the knife. Whoa. I was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there. Or, or, or you would have. Wait a sec. Give me that. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. Ugh, Aubrey's really changed since she last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check Basil, okay? Hey Basil, how you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sunny is here too. Say hi, Sunny. Oh, hey, Sunny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion. So, did you want to hang out with us today? Oh. I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My um my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been a long it's been a long since so long since we hung out. Oh, alright then. <laughs> Thank you. Um, where are you guys gonna drop me off? I can't save the planet! Where are we going? So, I wanted to talk about this. I think... Street that's diagonal from my crosswalk. Okay, so. But well, first, I want to. I want to lower this just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit.
No, I think that's fine. That's fine. Let's go down. Diagonal from Mars. So... It's a cat. I don't want to touch a cat. Don't scratch me. Okay, we're good. Over the block, right? Or... Definitely Bay's house. Definitely. It's one with the green roof. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay. Wait, please don't go. I mean, I'm, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil, what do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends. You remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course, I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey saw your photo album? Well, she... she won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sunny got you covered. Uh, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before? We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Damn. That is deep. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Come on, Sonny. There's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Far Away Park for clues. So now let me head back all the way over there, I guess. God, I am so afraid. I, it's just, I keep thinking. This is different. This is a little bit different. Oh, let me take my money. I mean, take my garbage. Do I have to talk to everybody again, or? Ah, you're new. Hmm, looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh wait, I know you, your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? <coughs> Who the hell? Oh. Who? What? Where? No. What did you do that for? Ah, uh, if it isn't killing that weird knife guy. We're the adversaries of the great and mighty angel. Finally, it's time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I'll tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in a battle. Battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on. Let's sick him, Charlie. The fuck? Whoa! Charlie is big! Let me raise up. This guy's a tap.
Let me raise it up one more time. It doesn't look like... Ah, oh, damn it, that was a waste. I just gonna let me pound on him. Throw <laughs> basketball. <laughs> you surprised me, Cal. You would make a worthy rival for my master. I assume I don't have to hurt Charlie, right? <laughs> you, you'll pay for this. Yeah, I didn't have to hurt Charlie. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. No, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. Okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. <laughs> a promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town, probably. Dang it, Angel! You better not be messing around or else. I told you what I know, and the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everyone about that time you went your bed at summer camp. Huh? What? You can't do that? That's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The, the Maverick? Oh no. You mean that weird kid, Mikael? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take a great offense to that. I see. So it is him. Where can I find Mikael? I mean... Uh, Maverick. I'll tell you what I know. But, you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everybody at the time you... Uh, okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was going to meet someone, some girls there for a uh, date or something. Ugh, disgusting. Come on, son, let's go to the faraway plaza. I think we're done here. Oh, there's a lot going on. Did I finish my thought from earlier? And then I told him, it's not Maverick, it's Maverick. It's so funny. Oh, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, there's enough of me to go around. Mikael, what are you doing? Ah. If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikael. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast that on name away a long time ago. Mikael, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. How, how dare you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikael, don't do this to yourself. I'm going to ask you one more time. Fight me, you wad. Don't be a chicken. Are we really gonna do this? Okay, then. come on, Tony, let's take him down. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. This fight is just getting started. Yo, 
sakes. <laughs> As expected on my arrival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around playing sports, I was honing my skills just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. This would be so much better if I had my knife, but somebody wants to take it away. <laughs> Is that all you got? I've been only using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. I bet you're sure we're getting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. I think... Actually, I think I might be done up. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, I did. Okay. I thought it was faster for a second than than Sunny. It's only a matter of time before you tie yourselves out. My victory is imminent. Can you just like die already? <sighs> I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. <sighs> uh, no, this is impossible. Improbable. Absolutely inconceivable. Alright, now you're done. <sighs> yeah, no, I won't let it end like this. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth, lend me your strength. Ah! <laughs> uh... Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out of here. Wow. What? Ladies, please come back. I have more money. What the fuck? Mikael. There is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do have to know where she is. And I'll tell you. On one condition. You must call me by my true name. The Maver. Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugarheads, so I have a hunch you're probably somewhere near Candy. Uh. Candy. I mean, there was a. I have to, I have to. Two stars. I wonder if that's gonna do something. How much money is Two dollars. Buy candy and not definitely have a piece of place. Why would I, why did I go here? Ooh. Why did I go in here? Uh, probably the store, right? Candy in the store. I'll get to your section. Recycled. Uh, Billy cares about the environment. Oh! See me. Thank you. Meats. I have one job just to sell meats. Would I like meats? See, there has to be. No way, I do fight out here. But. Ah, here it is. And there they are. Oh, and there's Sweetheart. Hmm, knowing Kim and Vance are probably somewhere around here. 
Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance. Let's shove it all in our pocket before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd cow. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Whoa, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <sighs> I had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. What is actually she here? I thought you said you weren't a snitch. I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you to never come back in here. Smiley, smiley. Smiley, smiley. Uh oh. Hand over the stolen candy, Miss Candace. Don't make me call the cops on you kids. Smiley, smiley. You've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. Uh, give me one sec.
Sorry about that, had to take some important business. Uh, hope you guys read as fast as I was trying to. I was in a very important call, so. Yeah, we're picking up Granny's, uh, Granny's medication. Actually, I do need some, uh, let's take a bandage down there. Let's take two bandages. But yeah, so we're picking up Granny's medication now. We're gonna see where we go. We're gonna drop off. Uh, it turns out Aubrey's at the church, so we're gonna have to go there. Can I use this? No. Aubrey's at the church, so we gotta head out over there, and then we are. Going to get our notebook, our bleh, not our notebook, our um, the photo album. Just gotta hand these off though, real quick. like do, 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 do. but yeah very sorry about that probably in the recording I'm probably gonna do like a voice over maybe of sorts so basil's house an abandoned house some house some other house Dog. A dog that, that, reminds, that looks familiar. Someone lives there. Where is this church? I'm getting a lot of trash. Oh, church, church kids, right? They look like church kids. Ah, here we are. Well, here we are. Well, all right. This is really the last place I would expect there. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little bit and take a peek. Hmm, looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm, she's just sitting there, all normal. So weird. Yeah, I feel pretty bad for interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon's over or something. So what do you just, what do you want me to do? Oh yeah, that's her blue bike. So what do we, you wanna go into the church? expect you to just walk in there like that sonny well there's no turning back now come on we have to be really quiet there she is should we just sit there she is on the right let's walk to the pew behind her i was gonna say that's la mafia type of stuff
Aubrey. Psst. Aubrey. What the? What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to get back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Kel, exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Marty would be really sad to hear that. Really? You really want to bring Marty into this? Who cares what Marty thinks? Marty's dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you just can't forget your old ones like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So this is what that's... So that's what this is all about? When Marty passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh, you're so persistent. Marty died, he moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find, still trying to find some peace. But it, it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Sonny think you could just barge back, right back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive! You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. <laughs> the Aubrey you knew is long gone, and the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want, here. I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Marty. No. I won't accept this. Wait! Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise you give Basil his photo album back, you thief. What's happening? Basil? Isn't that boy the who? I seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well? Oops. You think that you're the good guy, Cal? Don't you? You think you're the good guy, don't you, Cal? I'm the big bad bully, here to terrorize the poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first.
You're doing this in front of a church? Really? Oh, what the fuck? Look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Can I... No, I didn't mean to! Oh, I can really should bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. Now I'm gonna need it. Can I, can I try? No, I, okay, it automatically goes through. She's thinking hard. Do these delinquents think they're doing this is a place of worship? I know she's been kind of messed up there lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. Suck. That really did suck. Damn. She left. something in her trash can. Let's go check it out. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album. It only took us half a day, too. Let's talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Let's get this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot. Knock knock, Basil. It's your friends Kel and Sonny. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. You're not Basil. 
I'm sorry, my name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Kel. W what is it? Hey, Basil. You got your photo album back. Huh? You did? Wow, thank you. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny, free dinner. Okay, nice home. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there are some that are alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yup, that's basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we got your photo on, we can go to the photos together. Ah, uh, that's, uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um, sh sure. Okay. Oh, man. Here it is. Some are missing. My first photo. It was, it's my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Madi. So exciting. Just Cal being Cal. So many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park with Kel is still full of his energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all knew who was going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. <laughs> Oops, sorry Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour after losing to Hero in arm wrestling in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean on him for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Oh, brotherly love. Me showing Sonny a book I've been reading. Madi stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. It's all of us cutting with Sonny, Sonny stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could get, I could lay here forever. Madi's teacher would have me flower crowns. Here's Sonny and Kel holding Madi's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Madi thought so too. Hero is still making his flower crown. It's still taking him a little while, but he's getting there. He's, you have to admire his persistence. So now this is... So the flower crowns are reflecting from the other world that I was at. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during the springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her in her new raincoat. That's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Jesus. Kel just being Kel again. We went to Wobbs, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Cal hanging by the leg, his leg off a tree. Such a good climber. I wish I could be as fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation. All I wanted to do was celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. 
Kale cooling off with some fresh and orange gel. Sh I shouldn't get too close or I might get the camera wet. Kale is known to spill his drinks. <laughs> we buried Sonny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's gonna need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Hey, it's, it's Sonny is turning 12 today. Even though even though me, Sonny, and Kel are in the same school year, Sonny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of our group, so we have to take care of him. Sonny is holding a super low, huge present from Madi and Hero. I wonder what it is. You can tell from the photo of Madi and Hero got Sonny a giant building block set. Sonny seems more interested in the box, though. He acts like Madi's new kid and you. Sonny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess it will be Sonny the mute. Sunny and Mew's new home. We're going to be we're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny's there too. I just peeped. He looks kind of sleepy. I went to the bathroom, came back to this photo. Kel said he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. <sighs> Goodbye, summer. Until next year. to get those back later on the right side look how short i was i know i at least had grown a foot since hero left for college i can't wait until he comes back this year i'll finally be taller i'll finally be the taller brother <laughs> anyway don't sweat it about the missing photo either. me and sunny will take care of things for you you just focus on getting back to your happy care for yourself okay thank you i'll try Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would you, any, would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please follow me. The kitchen is this way. Continue until I just want to continue to see if I can get back to normal. Tonight for dinner we'll be making chicken vegetable soup. How's that sound? Soup and veggies sounds nutritious and delicious. You really think so? I was afraid you'll be a bit disappointed. People always tell me that my taste is a bit bland. Don't worry what other people think. All food is good to me. I'll eat anything you throw at me. Dinner will be ready soon. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Sunny, I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Sunny? Is everything okay with you? Okay. N never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. 
She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around, even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you could probably use it more than me. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time I took the photos I was most I took photos of what I was afraid of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album you can see all the good times maybe one day things can go back to the way they were before sunny basil dinner's ready okay coming This camera looks really dusty. So this room looks pretty normal. I got so scared. I don't know why. I looked to the side and I was like, why isn't anyone there? Polly and Kel's homemade dinner. Would you like to eat some? Yeah. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thank you for your help, Kel. So, as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, my older brother is hero is finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now trying to prepare the house and everything. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although... I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. I thought I was being called. This year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey. What you know about Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Oh, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Oh, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. <laughs> what? Sonny's m moving. Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh, uh, no, I guess I just, I missed it. Uh, sorry. Um, may I be excused? I have to go to the bathroom. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, it's you. Sonny, you're here. I'm so glad. You, you can see it too, can you? Can't you? Something behind you? Wait, please, Sonny, don't leave me. Not again. 
No. I didn't. No. I didn't mean to. No, no, no. No. What do you mean? Sonny. I'm just trying to look behind me. I fucked up. Grandma. Help me. Grandma, flower. Flower that's so precious. Sunny, I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So yeah, anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I just live down the block. Thanks, Kyle, you're so sweet. Oh, hey, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. No. No, I'm sorry. No, I do not want to save. We can't. Load. We are back. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I gotta get dinner. Ooh, check out the flower. Does it feel like it's important? And then... Yeah, baby, let's just come. Oh my god, yo. I was very afraid. I didn't, I was so worried. Uh, I'm okay with you. God, I just, I, I'm a f fucking idiot. Cause I, I thought if I checked behind me, like, I didn't, I didn't think I could leave. I thought, I thought it was like a restriction. And then he just left. Oh man. God, I don't I like I really I'm curious as to to see as like what would happen if I were to just like leave. I am curious, don't get me wrong. But you know, to get at least I assume like since that's kinda of like an RPG, the best way to get the you know, you would attend the best way to get the best ending is to try and um to try and you know be good to everyone help everyone and like not to imagine like he keeps looking back at me like he keeps like it, it like oh, man i made that mistake like that's crazy like why would i do that to myself like i was so worried you're the best. Oh, I'm just following Grandma's recipes. But I guess while this is going on, 
Yeah. So I'm very curious to see, like, so this is, so our main protagonist is Sonny. And what goes on through his head is kind of like, I guess, due to his sister's death and then the breaking of his friend group, which probably was very detriment, detrimental to him mentally and like psycho, uh, psycholo- psychologically. But, you know, that, that I'm just making the assumption here. Um... Like, that probably put a lot of stress on him. That's probably why we, like, go through that other world and stuff like that. And there are so many, like, references from that world to this world. Hence being Kel, Hero, Mari, Basil, Aubrey. But in this one, I presume... I presume they're older because... At least Hero, Hero and Mari are older, right? And then... Cal, Cal, Sonny, Basil, and Aubrey are like around the same age. I, I'm assuming. And basically, from that, like, it kind of, I like, I'm, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see where's the placement of the other world and I'm assuming like that's in a placement of their good years when they were together but in a fictional state because I guess like all the imaginary creatures and stuff if that makes sense god alright let me not make the same mistake again but I mean it does make sense too why Madi doesn't tag along with us and it also makes sense too now that I think about it, that Basil's gone in that world because in that world. Okay. I still don't like the blue eyes either. The blue eyes make it so much worse. Why do you look so scared? Sonny, everything's okay now, isn't it? Sonny, why why do you look so scared? Oh, she look at she stays looking at me. Oh, what the fuck? Wait a minute. So Because he always pops up in the other world. And I don't think him and Basil popped up at the same time. So, basically, he is Basil? Wait, please, Sonny, don't leave me. Not again. Okay, so I had to leave. I'm glad I learned that, though. I don't like how the music still plays. Oh, hey, Sunny, I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So, yeah, Polly, if anything, here's my address. I just live down the block. Thanks, Kyle. You're sweet. Oh, hey, it's nothing. Just say goodbye to Basil for me. Are you still going to say no? Basil! Oh, Basil! Oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope it feels better soon. I'm curious. Do you have anything to say about anything? No, I don't think so. I think you're most fast asleep.
So Basil's been trying to avoid her. Interesting. Oh, this is this is not okay. This is this is very uh sketchy. Those do not make life better. One of these is your house, isn't this one your house? Wait, hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been over my place. Now's not a good time. Oh, you dropping me off on. Oh, I appreciate that. Hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. Sure, so if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. Fuck. Oh. Oh shit, hold on. I saw that. Still there. I didn't, I didn't even mean to get the knife. I just wanted it, I guess. Oh, I needed it. I needed it anyway to cut that. What the hell is that? God. Oh, it's all about facing your demons. Are the hands gonna come again? Oh. I didn't mean to kill, kill your kid. Alright. Right. Ah, I'm sorry. No, Sonny. You okay? Oh, Sonny, it's okay. It's okay. Come on, you got this. You got this. It's all right. You just pushing through. What the fuck is that? Spider. Calm down. Relax, don't be afraid. trying to talk to you. It's alright. Be calm. 
This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember how to focus. Let us go. Sunny focuses. Hey, Sonny, it's enough for mommy. I had to brush your teeth every day. Love you, XO. Okay. So, my demons are still with me. So he goes into so it's a dream world. Okay, I probably I feel like I, I should have got that faster, but. Welcome to the white space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. This is the same thing as before, no? Okay. Tissue box, you're wiping your sorrows away. Mew. Sketchbook, see if anything's changed. But I had the option to stab myself, though. Which is very... Amori, welcome back. See her? I told you not to worry. Amori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Amori? We were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Cal. We have to make sure Mori's okay first. Maybe you and Hero can go yourselves. Mori, Mori, let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right. All we have to do is together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger than when we work together. Hmm, Amori and I will be fine on our own. You protect me, won't you, Amori? Ew, gross, get a room. Oh, come on, Aubrey. It's starting to get serious now. Let's go tell Mari that Amori's okay. You know she's always worrying about him. Okay, okay, fine. 
I was trying to have a little fun. single bean on a plate so what was my so toast has to do with that this is uh, sweetheart what are we doing there there's so much I don't I'm going out of more, here's your lines for today. So more escapes to this place. Where's Mari? Hey Mari, look, Amori's here. Amori! Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. Hmm. So there's still no sign of Basil? Where could he be? We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere. Still nothing. Hmm. I hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff, and all the photo stuff, and all the art stuff, and the reading stuff. <laughs> my hair is so tangly today. When I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Amori, will you brush it for me? Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. Oh, girl. Okay, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. So is there any... Is there any way you still haven't checked? Well, there's a forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spiders. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, Hero. Come on, big bro, you can't back out now. It's just like how it is with Amori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. And don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help, too. Yeah. Yeah. We can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Amori. to end stream here but um well that was a lot to take in like a lot a lot like so much and it's kind of scary to be honest to think about it it's kind of it's this game's super dark and like super interesting it not nah, it really is interesting but it's very dark um i personally like wouldn't know how to go about this or even explain it i i'm just really intrigued by the story to be honest and for and it, i i'm just really for the people who are like really going through stuff like that like i'm like it, it probably sucks but I hope you guys can, like, be able to get through it. Uh, anyway, right now, we are going to raid a friend of mine. Um, we are going to raid a 
friend of mine who is on. Very cool guy. You guys would enjoy his work. Uh, right now he's playing Rocket League, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Adios. Like, right now. No cards. But I don't know how to read. I'm looking at pictures, though.